Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Brittany Michelle. So, let me just tell y'all about... Well, let me tell y'all while I'm recording from my phone. I have my ring light set up. I was I was ready to record for y'all. But, um, the camera, it keeps saying change the battery pack. I've changed it, I've charged it, and it's still saying that. So, But, y'all gonna get this word, period. Y'all getting it. So, first and foremost, Husky the brand copy some purchase you a hat comes in different colors black red orange i think i'm gonna tag his um information well i'm gonna you know put his information in the description box below husky the brand shop with him he has hats and shirts and also i decided to put my shirt on today it says she's a vibe that can't be felt anywhere else dear sister i don't want to give out wrong false information but i'm going to tag her information below too jessica janae she is i'm assuming the ceo of dear sister and she also has a podcast so i'm going to put her information down below too copy off some merch it's worth it i promise all right so let's get to the video oh and this is not an ad by the way i'm not a paid promoter well at least not yet I'm working on a YouTube video. This will be my first YouTube video. And I was trying to get you guys some um, some good content on my camera. But like I said, I had an issue with that. However, that will not cause any distractions to what the actual goal is today. And the goal is to give you guys a word that I was given from God. So we're, we're not going to even spend too much time on what happened. We're just going to move forward. Period. That's a message within itself, y'all. When things don't go your way, when things seem rocky, when things seem impossible, keep moving forward. Don't let nothing, and I mean nothing, get in your way of accomplishing what you're set out to do. God gave you something to do. I don't care how many mountains you have to climb, how many valleys you got to climb out of. I don't care how many hurdles you have to jump across to get to it, to do what you have to do, but do it. Period. Don't let nothing stop you. I don't, I'm, don't care. Do not let anything stop you at all. That's the type of mentality that you have to have in order to succeed. In. So, I was just, you know, talking to God. You know, just regular conversation. Like, come on, let's, let's have a one-on-one -on -one talk. Just conversating. That's another thing, y'all. A lot of people are afraid to talk to God because they, they're like, I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to say. Listen. Just talk. You know how you talk to your homeboy, how you talk to your homegirl, how you talk to your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your... <laughs> I'm just swear. But just how you talk to anybody, honestly. Just talk. Just have a regular conversation. Everything don't have to be all holy and sanctified and churchy. It doesn't. God know you. He, he know you. He knows everything about you. Talk to him. Regular. I just talk. I'm not... I'm not so extra churchy, so extra holy, so extra sanctified, and have all these fancy words I say when I'm talking to him. He know. Hey, what's up, God? Let's talk. You know what I'm saying? So, I was just talking to him like, why I always have all these issues with friends? Not that this is a big deal to me, you know, friendship-wise, but I've noticed my common denominator, so I'm contributing somehow some way to these toxic relationships and friendships so what's up tell me what's up tell me what i gotta do tell me what i'm doing wrong you know what i'm saying help me out so he told me he said i have trust issues and i don't open up he said you can't expect you can't expect to have a one-sided friendship friendships aren't one side because of my trust issues i don't open up my friend my friends will open up to me, tell me secrets. Um, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I did, I, it was always one-sided. You can tell me your secrets. I ain't going to share them with nobody. But I'm not telling you mine because you might use that against me. You might use that to try to comfort me when you're mad and we get in an argument. You're going to deep and hit me with all of the stuff that I done told you. Like, I always had the mindset, like, I'm never going to let you have one up on me. That was my mindset. And it still is, y'all, because I ain't delivered. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it, you know? I'm I'm claiming my deliverance, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not there yet. But I'm helping y'all while I'm getting helped. So, 
but yeah um you not gonna have one up on me um i i'm gonna be a good friend to you i'm not gonna share your secrets but i'm not gonna tell you mine because i've been backstabbed i've been betrayed i've been hurt by friends and people in the past and i'm not giving you the opportunity to do it to me again i'm not about to put myself back in that situation you know what i'm saying i'm not period that's the mindset i had and he had to work friendship in. cannot be one-sided and the problem with me trying to prevent what happened to me in the past trying to prevent that for my future and for my present is the problem be open it's all right if you stand in your truth Nobody can use it against you. Right? Jessica Janae said something in her podcast. That's the one who has the Dear Sister brand. She um, made the shirt. She has a podcast too, and I listen to that as well. I love it. Um, y'all follow her. Y'all listen to that. It's real good. Um, but she said something in one of her podcasts. She said, use your past to power your purpose. That's what I'm doing. Y'all, use your past to power your purpose. If you afraid of your past, if you're afraid to dig in your past and heal from it and grow from it, mature from it, if you're afraid to do that, y'all, you will never get the fullness. The You won't get to the full potential of your purpose. You won't get to the fullness of where you could be, where you're going. You won't if you keep hiding from your past. So that's what he's working with me on. Because... Everybody know I'm that friend that I don't talk about my problems. I don't discuss them. I don't talk about nothing I've been through. I always had the mentality it's nobody's business. It's, I've been there. I've done that. I'm not reliving it. You're not going to make me. <laughs> Period. So, you know. But that's been my mentality and he's working, on, he's working with me on that. He also said to me, you hiding what happened to you in the past. You hiding that. You keeping it a secret. But I need you to talk about it. I need you to dig it about you. Because I'm working with you. I'm helping you heal from that. I'm helping you get delivered from what you've been through. And even though you've been healed, even though you've delivered, even though you're over it, you've gotten over it, it's a hurdle that you jumped across already, you're on to other things. You went through that for a reason. You thought I just made you go through that for the sake of it? You went through that for a reason. In order to help others get through it too. Like, you can't just, God will allow you to go through things. Notice I said God will allow you, allow, for the sake of him, for his name's sake. So, half of the things that y'all are going through, most of the things that y'all are going through, God is allowing it so that you can help others. He's trusting you. When you go through stuff, God is trusting you. He's trusting that once you get through this, when you get through it, because you will, when you get through it, you're going to grow from it. You're learning from it. You're maturing through it, through the whole process. But once you get through it, you, I can trust you to tell everybody else about it. I can trust you to let everybody know, else know that I went through this. God brought me out. He's trusting you. So when you think about your trials and you're going through your, um, well, when you're going through your trials and you're going through these hard times, and you don't you can't see the end you don't know why in the world you got to go through this why you you know what i'm saying you don't know why but god i'm telling you why god trusts you he trusts that once he gets once you go through and he brings you out because he will he is going to bring you out he can trust that you won't give yourself the credit for it he can trust that you won't be like it was me i did this i worked hard i, I did you know what i'm saying how we be i did this i did that i I jumped at the, I, I did all that. That's how I got out. No. He can trust that you won't do that. He can trust that he, you will not take the credit for it and that you will give him full credit for bringing you out. At the end of the day, y'all, God wants, he wants the glory. That's it. He wants the glory. He wants the praise. He wants to be held to this high, he wants to be on the, on this high pedestal. He wants all of the glory. He wants all of your attention. He's a jealous guy. Y'all know how we are. We his kids. Y'all know how we are. We're jealous. Somebody that game got your boyfriend attention. You mad. Because you want attention. Because you're jealous. He's a jealous guy. He mad. Y'all giving you giving all your attention to them. To that. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. About to crash this party. Cause 
No. <laughs> it's the same. It's no different. He don't want and nobody to have the attention but him. And that's all, y'all. So, with that being said, he had to help me understand that I cannot hold on to what happened to me in the past. Even though I claim I'm over it, whatever, that's good. That's all good and gravy. But he's saying, I brought you through that so you can help your neighbor. You sitting over here hiding secrets from her. But I need you to tell her. I need these secrets exposed to her because it's not a secret. It's a testimony. Let it out. What you holding on to it for? What you hiding it for? You went through that so that I can get the glory. So run it up. Give it to me. Period. So he's um he's working with me on that. So I say all of that to say, y'all, use your past to power your purpose. Thank you, Jessica. I, from the moment I heard that, it stuck with me. Y'all, when you stand in your truth, nobody or nothing can use it against you. And even if they use it against you, the Bible says what they meant for your bad is going to turn around for your good. So even if you do share your secrets, even if you do tell the deepest, dark secret that you possibly have and somebody use it against you and bring it up in an argument to shame you, they gossiping about it to their friends, they telling their homeboys, they bashing you, they talking about you, they laughing at you, they clowning you, it don't matter. Because as long as you had good intent in your heart, you meant you know, you didn't mean no harm. You meant good. You was just being you. You was being open. And you was standing in your truth. As long as you know that, it's going to turn around for your good. They can say what they want. God going to bless you. God see. He sees. He knows. And he understands. And he's going to come through for you regardless. Don't let nobody, y'all. Stop letting people determine your life. Don't let nobody determine what you going to say, how you going to say it, what you going to do, how you going to do it. Listen to God. Do what he asks you to do. And forget about whoever don't agree, whoever don't trust, whoever don't. Forget whoever got something to say that opposes it, period. I need to stop saying period. I'm sorry, y'all. But I say all that to say, use your past to power your purpose. And if you stand in your truth, nobody can use it against you. Be you unapologetically. Don't, I mean, don't forget about what happened in your past. Not, don't walk around here dumb and just spreading your business to people that you know, that you know that you know. Don't mean you no good. For people that you know, not going to use it for no good. You know what I'm saying? You got to be smart about it. Use your discernment. But when you legit have friends, and you know what I'm saying? When you legit have people that you know care about you, that are genuine, people that you know aren't trying to harm you or in any type of way, be real with them. Be open with them, especially if they open open with you. You don't have to walk around putting your trust in everybody. But, you know, give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Trust until they've proven that they can't be trustworthy. Give everybody the benefit of the doubt. That's what I'm working on. Because my trust is whew, messed up, y'all. But I'm working on it. God is working with me. And I'm telling you this so that he can work with you. And so that you can work on it, too. We in this together. We doing this together. So thank y'all so much for listening. I'm so happy I was able to get this video done. Because I really was feeling discouraged so i'm glad i was able to push through and not let those small little distractions and those small hurdles prevent y'all from getting this message y'all please like and comment i'm open to all feedback y'all tell me what y'all think subscribe to the channel for more videos like this because there are more coming soon y'all i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna do a video every week every week and most importantly, y'all, share. Please share this video. Do not hold back. If this helped you, if this blessed you, if this encouraged you, inspired you, motivated you, whatever the case may be, if you just liked it, share the video. It's somebody out there somewhere who needs to hear this word. Do not be stingy and do not think for other people. That's another thing I learned recently. You can't think for other people. Sometimes I'm like, mm, I'm not going to share it. I liked it, but ain't nobody else going to like it. You know what I'm saying? 
You can't think for them. You don't know. It could be that one person that's depending on you, that's praying to God like, God, please show me a way. Send me a sign. Give me a word from you on what I need to do. And it, you could be the unanswered prayer if you don't share this video. I could have been somebody's unanswered prayer if I didn't post this video. Y'all, we can't thank for everybody else. Get it out there. Put it out there. Let the people know about it. Somebody needs to hear this. Especially if you needed to hear it. You gotta know somebody else probably did too. But thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all tune in every week. I'm so excited. I am finally did it. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. And see you next week.